Lemurs are the most ancient primate alive today, and Madagascar is the only place on Earth where they live. This film shows the lemurs from all different areas in Madagascar. It's a wonderful voyage to be able to see the different habitat types and to see the different kinds of lemurs. Some of these animals have never been in movies before. They're spectacular, they're smart, they're beautiful, they have character, they're unusual. There's so many of them and they're so different. They're totally irresistible. These lemurs are very engaging creatures of the forest in Madagascar. Because Pat Wright was able to preserve Ramanathan National Park, we're able to see species which are larger and stranger than almost any other rainforest in the world. You escape into an ancient world when you go into the forest. These species all around you that are found nowhere else, all interacting together. This place is full of things nobody's ever seen before. One of the most incredibly effective teaching tools, believe it or not, is movies. It's a really professional crew that can really capture the lives of the animals for the whole world. And that's, that's great. Dave Douglas is sort of this mad scientist of IMAX in that he brings with him to location incredible arrangement of gear. And he's pretty focused not on what's sort of new or shiny, it's more on what will work. One of the things that we found was this device called the Cinebule, which is a balloon which has been developed and adapted as a camera platform. It has a, a few talents that no other aircraft has. The first time an IMAX production has ever used a balloon for filming, and that was pretty extraordinary. Flight plan is to take off and make sure that we can actually level properly, and then fly through these baobabs and land in a small village without crashing. It reminds me of The Wizard of Oz when that guy is taking off and waving and not knowing where he's going to wind up. Madagascar is the size of Texas or France, so it's a huge island. So you're trying to get to some place that's remote and it's almost impossible. There's parts of this film that I watch, and every time I watch it, I'm still amazed that there it is on the screen. What makes Madagascar a great adventure for a filmmaker is some of the things that are not there. There is no road system there of any particular kind. The chances that you're going to get somewhere is always an adventure. There's no airports, there's no roads, there's no way to get around you know, the vast majority of the country. It's totally inaccessible. Madagascar is a real challenge, and to make a film like this in Madagascar is just a miracle. To make this movie really come together, like we relied on the people of Madagascar, the lemurs of Madagascar, you know, and scientists from all over the world. Madagascar is such an unknown quantity. We had to figure out what we could make the film about and then figure out how to make that film. And we've got elements which have never been used together and we've got new cameras which have never been used in the field at all. We can grab animal behavior we would always missed in the past, in the film years. They are living in extremely dramatic time in Earth's history and in their long history. It's a come from behind survival story that highlights their ability to survive and the uncertainties of the world that they're presented with now. There are little ones and big ones and dancing ones and singing ones. Ooh! <laughs> I should be over there with them actually. Lemurs are extraordinary animals. It's time that everyone knew how great lemurs are. Island of Lemurs, Madagascar, exclusively in IMAX theaters.